Good morning, gurus. Welcome to another episode. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. I just woke up. We're going to jump into the charts for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And in 12 hours, I'll do the stock market, the NASDAQ, before it opens and check on the tech stocks. I'm going to show you Bitcoin trading, Ethereum trading. Hit the subscribe button, smash up, thumbs up button, turn on the bell, and let me know any um, alts or tickers you'd like me to analyze, stocks or cryptos, in the comment section below. And right now, the market is the lowest volatility that I've ever seen. Um, lower than even previous bear markets 490 days of bear market and this is the time when it when everyone goes quiet when the market goes quiet no one talks about crypto everyone's already said it's a scam everyone's already moved on this is the time when it goes quiet to start accumulating when it goes to euphoria when everyone wants to buy bitcoin your mom's asking you about bitcoin your cousins your friends that's the that euphoria we're gonna get lambos everyone's gonna get a lambo we're gonna buy whatever you want everyone all in crypto 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 everywhere news agents that's the time to get out that euphoria when it's now quiet when it's silent when no one's talking about crypto when no one wants to buy it it's a scam it's already been forgotten complete silence volumes very low this is the time to be accumulating this is where the millionaires are made the millionaires make take their profits at the top of the bull market but they make their money now let's jump into the technicals for bitcoin now we're going into the markets and market quiet no movement again. Sui down 4%. Uni down 1% after a bit of a pump last night, then a pullback. Tesla last week up 3%. No real movement on Bitcoin. Um, the short activated on Bitcoin from yesterday's video. We are now in a short. The target is the bottom of this channel, this short here. The way you read my trades is the red line is where the trade stop loss automatically closes. Never risk more than 2%. So it closes at 26,071. The trade opened at 26,046 and the take profit is 25,755. Shorting it because you can see here for the last 10 days, Bitcoin has just been moving between this channel. So right now it's short going down to here and then longing from here back to the top of the channel. That's my play. The short was big in profits, but Bitcoin having a bit of a bounce back right now. But I would still take this plate. Hourly, we're oversold. Four hourly, we're overbought. Daily, we're midway. Weekly, we are now oversold, which is good. This is the main indicator that I use, actually. The weekly and monthly charts on the, on the stochastic. When it's down here, that's the time to be buying. Very oversold on the monthly and the weekly. When it's up here above the dotted lines, that's the time to be getting out, overbought. And you can see we went from oversold in December to overbought by J July, and now we're correcting. So Bitcoin is in a correction. It finished this AB, um, the Elliott wave count up, and now, in my opinion, we're in ABC correction. But you can see here we're in this very tight channel, but B I am expecting Bitcoin to pump to B and then fall to C on the long-term time frames. So sh um, currently in a short, these are the two trades that, act that are active. Short, these are riskier trades on the shorter term time frames. On the longer term time frames, where I would be going long on Bitcoin is from this 25,000. That's where I'd be buying a lot of Bitcoin on this $25,000 uh, 20,300 support. I do think we will break this 25,000 if we don't get a very strong bounce here, which we're not getting. The next major area of support is 21,000 and 20,000. So those are the two places I would take big buys on, big longs. These shorter term time frame trades are shorter but riskier, never risk more than 2%. So this short is currently active. It's almost active again. I would still take this same short, risking opening at 26,000, risking $22 to make $293 per Bitcoin or 13 risk to reward with 10x leverage 2900 profit 100x leverage 29000 and then i would go long from this after it comes down going long from 25700 stop loss 25672 take profit 26000 risk to reward 12 times risking 45 to make 595 per bitcoin without leverage $45 to make 595 with 10x leverage 5900 100x leverage 59000 those are the two trades i would still be taking on bitcoin it's still in the same spot pretty much this trade that activated on the short. So first going down in this tight channel, but on the longer term timeframes, I'm looking to buy more positions going down to 20,000 and buy spot. If you want to trade Bitcoin under this video, 
down below in the description go down below under the video jamescryptoguru.com take the courses to learn how to do all this learn how to set up your charts if you've been losing money in the markets don't know when to open longs or shorts don't know how to trade don't know how to set up your charts on trading view master course crypto master course jamescryptoguru.com to trading on bybit using this link thirty thousand dollar bonus when you meet their trading requirements bybit is the second biggest exchange and the best for trading and holding in my opinion three um, join us in telegram there's nine thousand investors and traders all together trading so you can join them um, in the telegram and over on Bybit, my account 310,000. It was up around $600, not much yesterday, not much movement. I've got 116,000 USDT, $38,000 worth of Bitcoin, um, which I will have buy orders accumulating down. Uniswap, swap, I've got $36,000 worth of Uniswap, MCRT 23,000, Doge 22,000, Doge having a bit of a pullback. FXS, I have 7,700 showing strength on FXS. So I'm going to be buying FXS as it comes down. And you can see here, I've got buy orders on Uniswap, $3.60. Um, Doge 50 cents. Let's see where I set a buy order on FXS. Major support on FXS. The major area of support is $4 on this blue trend line. And it looks like it will come down here more than likely. It's, tr it's trying to call up on the weekly. And volume is coming in where the rest of the market no. Hmm. It is trending up here. But more than likely, if Bitcoin ever sells off or there's a big selling, this is the target, $4. This is where I'm going to set an alert and buy orders, $4. I always set my buy orders down, everyone. I want to buy it cheap. So $4 is where I'm going to be buying some FXS. So I'm going to set some buy orders at $4. Let's do $20,000 worth of excess FXS. No, $10,000 worth of FXS at $5, at $4. Confirm. So that order is now set. So I've got a lot of buy orders set for, for Bitcoin. Let's quickly, Bitcoin FXS Uniswap. Let's go into Ethereum trades. 1649. Trade setups from Ethereum yesterday are in play. The riskier term trade is this one. Opens at 1618. Take profit 1692. 22 risk to reward ratio in that shorter term time frame. Again, we're moving within this channel. So longing from the bottom there. And the bigger play would be off this trend line on Ethereum, going long from here at 16, 1462. One, this is the bigger play on Ethereum, this one here. 16 risk to reward, opening at 1462, one, stop loss 1413, one, take profit 2258, risk to reward 16 times. Um, I'll share the, some. I'll share this video in the Telegram, and I'll also share some of those trade plays. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hit the subscribe button, smash up thumbs up, and learn from me. If you're skeptical, watch my videos. See how I do over time. I've been doing this now for three and a half years, every day on my phone. Twenty-two years I've been investing and in trading forex stocks, cryptos. You can learn it all in the master courses. Number one in the description. Love you all. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.